Welcome to the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. Rolex is definitely the most well-known luxury watch brand in the world. Rolex's international recognition is due to many years of success and popularity in pop culture, like partnerships with Paul Newman, James Bond, and many more. Owning functionality and breathtaking elegance, Rolex is without a doubt one of the best luxury watches out there. We thought we'd dip into 50 things you didn't know about Rolex watches. But before moving forward, make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button to get the latest content from your favorite luxury channel. Without further ado, we have Number 1. The Rolex headquarters are more secure than a high-security prison There are several reasons why the Rolex headquarters is more secure than a high-security prison. One of the main reasons is that it carries gold bars worth over 1 million pounds. The headquarters has installed bank vault doors, fingerprint scanners, and they use unmarked armored trucks to move their parts between various sites to prevent theft. After all, Rolex watches are the most sought-after watches in the world. Number 2. Rolex is a Swiss brand born in London The history of Rolex started in London when in 1905, a young German, Hans Wilsdorf, established a firm specializing in watches equipped with small movements made by a Swiss factory in Biel with his brother-in-law, Alfred Davis. The shop only transferred to Switzerland in 1919 after the British government raised a 33% tax on all imported products to finance the debts from World War I. Number 3. Rolex Watches Are Handmade Rolex watches are created entirely by hand and per watch can take a whole year to assemble. Almost every element of a Rolex watch is produced in-house, indicating that they can guarantee that each piece produced complies with their strict standards and procedures. Once every part of the watch has been completed, then they are hand-assembled and tested. The quality assurance procedure they have to go through is incredibly thorough and intense. Number 4. Rolex is actually a charity The Hans Wilsdorf Foundation was established in the year 1944 when Hans Wilsdorf lost his beloved wife. Since then, the ownership of the luxury brand has been subject to the Hans Wilsdorf Foundation, and there are thorough guidelines for how the finances and earnings should be set up and managed. Since the rules in Switzerland state that private charities such as the Hans Wilsdorf Foundation aren't permitted to announce their respective charities, the amount of funds and donations of the Rolex Foundation is kept confidential. Thanks to this, there is no data available about whether anyone has received aid from this foundation. Number 5. Rolex wasn't always called Rolex Even though Rolex has been a household name across the globe, they didn't sprung out under that label. The initial company was named Wilsdorf and Davis after its creators, Alfred Davis and Hans Wilsdorf. Wilsdorf is actually the more well-known of the two and appeared to be the driving force behind the concept and the creation of the company, while Davis supplied the much-needed funds and financial background to get the company off the ground. Born in Germany and orphaned at a young age, Wilsdorf spent his younger years working for La Chaux de Fonds, a Swiss watch company. After learning practical skills in Switzerland in 1905, he made the decision to move to London to start his own company. At 24 years old, Wilsdorf met his co-investor and partner Davis and they established Wilsdorf and Davis. With Wilsdorf's knowledge and love for watchmaking united with Davis's background in financing and international trade, they founded the company that still lives over 100 years later and is adored by watch enthusiasts all over the world. Number 6. Rolex watches raised the moral of British troops during the Second World War. During World War II, Hans Wilsdorf proposed that all British prisoners of war could order any Rolex of their choice and pay for it whenever they liked. The idea behind this gesture was to boost morale amongst the British troops and thankfully, it worked. Around 3,000 watches were sent to Oflag 7B POW camp in Bavaria alone. The gesture was indeed honorable considering that Hans was German himself and was betting against his own nation. Number 7. Rolex uses the most expensive stainless steel in the world, 904L while all other luxury watches enjoy a stainless steel grade known as 316L, since 2003, Rolex has been utilizing a more expensive and durable grade known as 904L. Showcasing a greater level of nickel, Rolex had to elevate the majority of its gear with an investment that cost the brand much more. As a result, Rolex watches have more resistance to pitting erosion from salty seawater, which is excellent news for Rolex fans who happen to be swimmers and divers, and they also maintain their polish much better than 
Diamond Standard Steel Watches. Number 8. It takes a year to produce a Rolex watch. While you may consider this hard to comprehend, it takes roughly one year to create a single Rolex watch. Almost 1 million watches a year come out of Switzerland with a Rolex crown on the dial. But surprisingly enough, each watch must be strictly tested to ensure that it meets the brand's high-quality measures. Demanding multiple minuscule details and with each one being created in-house, for Rolex watch is hand-assembled and separately tested. Number 9. Rolex has its very own team of gemologists. Not satisfied with outsourcing gemologists, Rolex hires a wide team of gemologists whose task is to purchase, test, position, and put diamonds and other precious stones in a range of Rolex watches. The firm reports that out of 20 million diamonds they sampled over the years, only two have been discovered to be fake. Each stone that you see on an authentic Rolex timepiece is hand-set and hand-selected. Number 10. Rolex has its own science laboratory. While it may come as no surprise that Rolex, being the world's most successful watch brand has its own laboratory for research and develop purposes. Rolex has stepped it up a notch with some of the world's most technically cutting-edge equipment. These devices are used for analyzing, testing, monitoring, researching, and finding innovative ways to enhance the dexterous skill of watchmaking, all at the hands of well-trained innovators and scientists. Number 11. The Baodai Rolex sold for over 5 million pounds in 2017. The Rolex Baodai Ref 6062 was a one-of-a-kind watch produced by Rolex in the year 1954. It contained diamond indexes and a black dial. The watch first went to auction in 2002 and was sold for roughly 240,000 pounds. But 15 years later, it broke this record and was sold for over 20 times its initial auction price. In 2017, the watch actually sold for over 5 million pounds. Number 12, the Rolex Daytona sold for over 17,750,000 pounds in 2017. When the Baodai watch was sold at an auction in 2017 for around 5 million pounds, it broke all prior records. But not long after this, Rolex sold a Rolex Daytona for no less than 17,750,000 pounds. This watch was actually the most expensive watch ever to be sold at auction. It is still the sixth most expensive watch sold at auction to date. The watch that broke this world record was no other than Paul Newman, and this had been owned by Paul Newman himself. The watch sold for a staggering cost of over 17.8 million pounds to an unknown buyer that traded only over the phone. Number 13, Rolexes kept ticking at the top of the world and the bottom of the ocean. After the war, Rolex became even more prestigious. In 1953, the gentlemen of the British Himalaya expedition led by Edmund Hillary were the first recorded humans to ever reached the summit of Mount Everest. All the leaders in the expedition were wearing Rolex Oyster Perpetuals and none of these watches broke down or even lost a second regardless of the severities of the climb. In 1960, the U.S. Navy's Bathy Scaife's Trias dove around 35,798 feet down, that's roughly 8,000 feet deeper than Everest is high, to the deepest region of the Mariana Trench. Few of the sailors wore Rolex watches and were surprised to discover that it still ran without losing a second despite the pressures of 40,000 pounds per square inch. Number 14. Your fake Rolex isn't fooling anyone One Canadian stripper had once reported that she and her colleagues had been taught to identify a fake Rolex in the crowd from the stage. And she said that it was actually an easy thing to do. Rolexes, which are all mechanical, have second hands that gracefully sweep the dial, while fakes, on the other hand, are electronic. They have second hands that tick every second individually. Other cues are quality of materials, machining, and structure. Perhaps more apparent, she pointed out, is the person wearing the watch. If you're on your kids while wearing a Don't Give Up t-shirt, that's likely not an authentic Rolex on your wrist. Number 15. Rolex Might Have Lost Millions to Bernie Madoff Bernard Lawrence Madoff was an American fraudster and entrepreneur who ran the biggest Ponzi scheme in history, which was worth roughly $64.8 billion. He was a one-time director of the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. In 2008, the watch world was shocked when Hans Wilsdorf Foundation and CEO Patrick Heinegger stepped down for private reasons. He and his father, Andre, had operated the firm since Wilsdorf's death in 1960, and there were no warning signs that their leadership was about to end. Almost instantly, the European media began running stories declaring that the firm had been scammed out of at least $900,000 by Bernie Madoff. 
After he was sentenced to 150 years for robbing more than $30 billion, Madoff's own Rolex collection was auctioned off to aid his victims, which included Uma Thurman, Steven Spielberg, Kevin Bacon, and John Malkovich. If you are searching for a long-lasting time piece, then this is the ideal watch that money can buy. Rolex invested lots and lots of money and precious time into making not just a watch, but a piece of art. If we had to say one last thing about Rolex, it is that even if you don't enjoy how their watches look on your wrist, you can't just deny the absolute sense of reliability, confidence, and dignity the brand name showcases. If you believe this video is valuable to you, then please share that value by hitting the like, share, and subscribe button so you're given a heads up when our next video goes live. This is The Luxury World, and we'll see you next time.